The road is not clear cut. That's dry, that's wet, and here we have this road running between the two and it really defines the edge. But when it comes to moisture and flooring, it gets really complicated. And how do we assess the site, make sure that we are safeguarding our work, our reputation, our income, our livelihoods? Well, we use moisture meters. We use moisture meters to assess the site correctly, but we don't always understand the technical background of these different brands, of their different products. And the next minute we look around and we're standing in water. This is the vlog about moisture meters. Building Exhibition Center. We're meeting up with Graham from BAMR and uh, hey, Van Dyke. Van Dyke carpets, good old South African staple. It's all happening inside here at the Building Exhibition Center and great place to go. All different types of building materials and conference facilities. Only one spot. Could we ask for better? Let's go and check it out. They don't know. They don't know. In your eyes, I put my trust. Baby, you're my all time favorite. Let them keep talking about us Cause they don't know We'll never know When the rain hits hard on my window When the night's too dark You're my hero When the troubles come We can lay those <laughs> Thank you so much for coming out. I really do appreciate it. We're here at the, the Building Exhibition Center. We're going through something, uh, moisture meters, that any professional flooring nerd or uh, facilitator should have an arsenal of the right tech to deliver guaranteed results. And I find that um, a lot of the flooring industry, the guys coming up through the ranks, they don't fully understand the differences between the different moisture meters that are available out there. Like you got some with like prods and pins yeah. and others with like, you know, they look yeah. weird. Can we yeah. go through, you've got sure. quite an arsenal here. So yeah. can we go through what somebody should maybe consider okay. as they're climbing the ranks in the flooring industry? Starting with our entry level, we sort of bring about 50 of the, these in at a time. It's the Protometer Mini 2000. Pro Protometer Mini 2000. Yeah. I see a lot of those. That's where a lot of the guys okay. generally start with. Yeah. What does this measure? You can split the moisture meters into pin type yeah. and non-destructive, where you've got pads or prongs or um, like a search, like this there, bulge here. And so either you're pushing pins in or you're placing things against the wall or the floor, whatever you're measuring. Okay. Yeah, the pin type one is, as I said, the most popular. I think that's the most widely, I guess, uh, used one. And the nice thing about it is it's got a um, sort of LED light. So pretty easy to Ow. interpret in that, um, you know, green is, is dry, red is wet, and orange is in between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so there's no need to know, okay, well, I'm got, got 20, what does 20 mean? The, the number that it correlates to is something called WME. Uh, it's a number that I think a lot of people don't understand. WME is wood moisture equivalent. Wood moisture equivalent. Yeah. So yes. if wood was in contact with whatever you're measuring, everything's trying to get into equilibrium, that's it the moisture level that you'd get in the wood. And wood has quite a wider range of um, readings than you'd get, for example, plaster. Like wet plaster would be sort of one and a half percent, two percent. And ultimately all these gauges are trying to make it easier for the user to accomplish a, an oven dried test. You know, you take a sample, you weigh it, you dry it until it's bone dry, as in you get repeatable, and then you weigh it again. And you take that the difference, difference. A, a, a divided by the original and, and that's your percent. Okay. So you're going back to um, some of these uh, measure wood, some of these measure cement. Yeah. Does the, the protein meter measure both? Yeah, so basically it will measure both, but you are always getting a reading in WME. So WME. the wood moisture equivalent. So whether you're measuring plaster or wood or uh, cement, yes. concrete, 
you're getting a, a wood moisture equivalent on their so ratio on, on their, their ratio. So, so these numbers yeah. equate to that so if wood was in contact with whatever you you're measuring if, if it's very moist the moisture is going to get into uh, the wood okay and therefore you. you're going to yeah and therefore you're going to be getting that which i think a lot of people don't get their heads around they'll say i need an instrument that's going to give me a percentage of plaster yes and they'll, they'll start quoting numbers of 15 etc etc and that's actually not practical so something like wood uh, a very wet piece of wood is going to be quite uh, and, and dry is, is going to be quite a different range from a wet piece of cement or, 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 or plaster okay I understand yeah. so we're going to have a difference of like if we're just using wood because yeah. that's my my sure. common denominator yeah. is wood so on average if we say in Cape Town Western Cape wood needs to be around about between 8 and 12 percent yeah. for going into the yeah. home yeah. and if it's coming in at 16 percent you're going to say whoa breaks correct because yeah. Which does equate to the, the numbers on that that are on, next on to that on next to the, 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 the lights. Okay. So if it's fifteen and below it's green, if it's twenty and, and above it's red, and if it's between fifteen and twenty it's it's, it's orange, which is something in between. <laughs> so, uh, open for interpretation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, so, and something that, that's probably a good uh, part to bring this up is that ultimately the, the instrument is always just an extra tool in making a decision. Yes. You shouldn't just be putting it in and go, okay, the instrument says it's fine, let's go ahead and paint. Yeah. Because there might always be uh, external factors such as, you know, is, is it direct sunlight, is it not direct sunlight? Is, are we in Durban where it's high humidity? I mean, uh, we had a customer in the Seychelles, exceptionally high humidity. And the readings, you, you need to be aware of that high humidity and not just go, oh, well, the instrument says it's, it's wet. So if I can break that down, is that um, as any good craftsman, you are you need to understand the the science behind how to use the tool and use the tool as one uh, facet of measurement in when you're assessing a site it's like you using the, the the tool to measure an immediate moisture percentage in a zone yeah. but you also need to take in all the other factors yeah. into account is there like a uh, bubbling paint work that's uh, showing you that there's mold in the wall or Correct. there's yeah, water yeah, in the yeah. wall yeah, yeah. and then uh, obviously there are some limitations i mean ultimately uh, this is measuring the resistance between the, the two and moisture increases that so if you push this into um sort of metal like uh, aluminium backing or something you're going to get exceptionally high reading you're like, oh, okay well it must be very high, but very high moisture. Meanwhile, it's actually the fact that you use short circuiting the process. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. This um, is pin. Uh, the, the step up from this is a digital mini, where you're getting the, the lights, but then you're also getting a, a number, a digital number, a digital number. Yeah. So when uh, somebody uh, the associate, like uh, we have our local flooring association, uh, yeah. Sulfur, South yeah. African Wood uh, and Laminate Flooring Association, yeah. they generally love the proteometer as it's yeah. a nice affordable uh, tool to use Correct. Um, so that's quite well supported by the industry yeah. it's respected it's a known brand so proteometer because like where does proteometer come from yeah proteometer in the uk so, UK. Fact, yeah, so okay. we, we actually represent three different uh, um, moisture manufacturers uh, proteometer in the uk uh, tremex uh, is uh, this one and this one in tremex they in ireland ah uh, um, and then Max Dose is, is German. Yeah, I'd say of the three proteometers, probably, with, uh, yeah, I mean, we've been dealing with them for about 30 years and they're, they're sort of probably the most established. But I mean, Tramex is also a well known band, especially in, in the States. Max Dose, uh, yeah, I, I don't think it's, it's as well known worldwide, but I mean, it's quite widely used in, in, in South Africa, the, the DM4. I find that uh, generally when I'm uh, rewriting uh, instruction manuals and warranties for the, my past sins, um, yeah. we rely a lot on the American format. So Tramex okay. Okay. as a brand, like you know Tramex readings and percentages. Okay. Um, really, this is a good foundation point sure. within uh, what my flooring yeah. industry no, so the, knows so, and respects. So the, the, the CME4, which is classic, yeah. classic. So, so the big advantage of this is that they've taken, they've taken that wood moisture equivalent and realized that a lot of people don't understand it. Yeah. So, so they, what they've done is they've sort of worked out over a period of time what the actual per percentage moisture in concrete is. So the advantage of this is that, okay, so it's non-destructive. You, um, you've got your, your uh, 
sort of these little sensors, sensors to yeah. compensate for uneven floors. Yes. So, and then the, the reading you get is is an actual. So so the scale is not to to six. So that's an actual moisture percentage in concrete. So so you don't have to then co compare with wood moisture equivalents and, and, and go back to the other sta yeah. stats. And yeah. Yeah. So so some um, manufacturers of products will specify it has to be four percent and below for my product to be applied. This will give you that number. Whereas the other instruments, you, you're relying on the green lights. Um, and it's an know, interpretation, and it's, and it's open to no, <laughs> yeah, yeah. quite a bit of grey. <laughs> yeah, no, moisture is is one of those things. I think the, the more you start trying to find out, learn about it, the more uh, complicated it, it actually is. It, no, 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 for sure. And, and that's why we're having this conversation today, is that there are so many different tools and philosophies out there, mm. and everybody has their favourite, yeah. yet when an inspector comes along and says, well, I've got the Tramex and it's, you know, it's uh, above and, you know, did you document the, the, the site prior to installation, taking yeah. photographs of yeah, the yeah. readings yeah. and no, but uh, it yeah. was. And so then yeah. installers are getting burnt yeah. on a regular basis yeah, yeah. because they're not following the due process sure. to protect themselves. Yeah, yeah. And these tools protect them yeah. if they follow no well, I mean when you, when you consider the cost of, of having to relay a floor from a floor, a floor failing yeah I think it makes a lot of sense to it's a no-brainer no. it's an absolute no-brainer to, to just uh, give you I mean you might be exceptionally experienced and know in the past when you place your hand there and it's got that feel yeah that's fine that cool but, feel but, or <laughs> <laughs> but if you've got a, an extra tool to making that decision and something that that you can show a client or, or, or document that um, I measured it on this day and it was 4% below and, and there we go. And that, I'm in the clear. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. the kind of thing. Alright, yeah. so when you have like the protometer, the, the entry level, and then you yeah. start stepping up, yeah. what's going to motivate me to go to that next level? Okay, in, um, in functions and features. Splitting between the, the, the non-destructive and the, and the so the, not, when I say non-destructive, it's basically instead of pushing pins in, yeah. um, you've got pads, so this is a, a Tramex model as well, and and you got the, the prongs. I, I think some people just prefer not having to push pins in, so yes. that's why they would consider going for Tramex. I mean, uh, the, the, the moisture and kind of place. I, I can see that the Tramex is a lot more uh, a cementitious substrate focus Correct. versus the pin is yeah. the wood focus. So I, I almost kind of see like a little bit of a divide yeah, happening yeah. where. You need to make sure what's happening in the substrates and if your industry, your floor type is more cementitious based, then you're going to focus more on this level yeah. versus a timber format. Yeah, even though you're getting a re reading in WME, it is quite easy to use with the lights and those lights will, will give you an indication of, of what the reading is in pasta or, or concrete. Yeah. Uh, one of the limitations of, of, for example, using this with concrete is that your surface might be dry. But, but then two inches, inches below, yeah, there might no. be subsurface moisture. Yes. So, for example, I don't know. Maybe there's been a dehumidifiers in, and then, and then it, it, that's definitely going to be the case. So you can overcome that. Uh, this comes complete with the Survey Master, but you can buy it as an optional accessory, and, and that's pluggable into, that into that. And then you can drill to different depths and, and get quite um, quite a lot of extra inf info on that on that slab. When you are using the proteometer and you like actually poking it into the ground and actually checking out the moisture level on the surface, you could have a bit of a moisture issue like an inch or two inches or three inches below. And that's where this baby of drilling down into that depth and doing a reading at two inches or three inches, you're going to get a really accurate assessment of where that slab is at. Yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, if there is a limitation of this, if you get a high reading, you got a high reading. You can't then go and further in, uh, further investigate why you're getting that high reading, or yeah. um, whereas with the this you, you, you got the option of, of that, and with the survey master you got the the, the, the dual option. You got the, you got the pins in the front, um, and then you've also got the the search. the sensor. This, yeah. So this this will measure to depth of about 20 millimeters. So this this for me is the most um, versatile versatile and most feature. Um, so if you're not just only doing concrete, then then this would probably be the way. I mean, if, if, if it was me in the industry, yeah. I'd probably be using this. But if it's a purely concrete that you're doing, 
and yeah, you're not going to be needing to drill. You don't want to drill, then 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 the, the CME4 would, would, would be there. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the DM4A is also a pretty popular model in the in the industry, um, but it's giving you a, a purely digital number, okay. and it's not giving you any help as to whether that number is wet, dry, or somewhere in between. So versus so the Tramex CME4 and the hydrometer, yeah, uh, same same, but different so that's a, a digital yeah. number this is yeah. one to six but our yeah I mean this is is, is giving you a reading in um, in percent and actual moisture percent for that concrete yeah so, this is giving you a, a number it's more relative number okay. so I mean just from our personal experience if this is giving a reading of four this will give, be giving a reading of about eight in in the building mode but if you're doing walls and stuff so like uh, Plasco and Dulux they, they actually specify in in their specs our product needs to go on when you're getting a reading of less than 12% in that mode. Okay. Um, so if you're doing that, and then you're also doing with the floors, that, that's when you'd be using. Yeah. Potentially bridge yeah. across. Yeah, so, so the bridge across. For, for the, the total flooring noobs, then maybe for it's a bit more guys, Tramex and the yeah. meter. The guys who sort of entry level, buy this with this, then you're ultimately covering both options. You're getting the, 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 the easy, um, so lights to, to assist you in making a decision and then yep. you can drill if, if, if need be. Thanks Grant, really appreciate you stretching my brain there. Moisture meters, if you want 10% discount on the Mini Pro Prodi meter, just mention this vlog that you saw it here and BAMR is gonna discount that incredible moisture meter. If you subscribe, if you're into that thing, hit the bell button and if you want to know anything else about moisture meters, uh, hit the comments below. We'd love to explore this a little bit further. Thank you.